in this example, ladies and gentlemen, if we're doing, um, if we're doing the Cartes rule of science, all the Cartes rule of science tells us is the number of possible rational zeros, right? Just tells us the number of possible, I'm sorry, the number of possible real um, positive, real negative, and imaginary zeros. So if you guys go ahead and look at this, um, to determine the number of pos uh, positive, first of all, I know this is an equation set equal to 0 because this is a different type of problem. Usually a lot of times you're going to have it set up as a function. So for my instructional purposes, I'm not going to set equal to 0. I'm going to set it equal to f of x. I'm going to relate this as a function. Because remember I told you I, want, I gave different kind of examples. So anyways, to find the number of positive real solutions, all you're going to do is count the number of sign changes. Anytime you have a term that's positive that goes and the next term is negative, that's a sign change. Anytime you go from a negative term to a positive term, that's a sign change. So do you guys see any sign changes here? No. So guess what? There's no positive real zeros. OK? No positive real zeros. To find the negative, what we need to do is figure out what is f of negative x. Well, we'll go and see. f of negative x. So that gives you 2 times negative x squared plus 5 times negative x plus 3. Anytime you have a negative term raised to an um, even power, that's always going to be positive. So negative x squared is positive x squared. Positive x squared times 2 is 2x squared. Negative x times 5 is a negative 5x. And then we have plus 3. So yes, exactly as Jerusalem said, we can now count the number of terms or number of sign changes. We now have 2. But please remember Descartes' rule of sign says it's the number of sign changes minus an even number. Well, think of the most common even number would be 2. I always just like to subtract 2 as much as I can. So if I have, so for the number of negative, we're going to have 2 or 0, because 2 minus 2, subtracting of an even number. 2 minus 2 is 0, negative, real zeros. Yes? then the number would be 5, 3, 1. 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 minus 2 is 1. I can't subtract 2 from 1 and get, still have a positive number, so then I stop at 1. So but yes, always just keep on subtracting 2 until you can't go any further. So you're either going to end up at 1 or 0, basically. So you have 2 or 0 negative solutions. Now I have, two, I have two options here for the negative, right? So what if I asked, what if the question, though, on the test was, hey, how many complex are there? Well, this tells you they're real positive, real negative. It doesn't really tell you the complex. So we have to create a chart. Or at least I like to create a chart. And my chart consists of positive, negative, bless you, complex, and the total. Yes? Yes? OK, so for the number of positive, well, actually, first of all, we can do a couple of these. How many, totals, how many total solutions do we have? That is based on the what? Degree. Degree. So the total number of solutions is? Two. two. How many turning points would there be in this graph, FYI? One. It's always, two, it's always n minus 1, right, where the degree minus 1. All right, so the number of positive. We said there's no positive real zeros. So we'd have 0. For the negative, we said there's 2 or 0. It's one or the other. That's why I have those two columns. So it's 0 or 2. So to find the number of complex, well, ladies and gentlemen, if I have 0 positive, 0, zero positive real, 0 positive negative, then how many complex do I have to have to satisfy my two solutions? Two. 2. Right? If I have 0 positive, 0 negative, I'm um, sorry, 0 positive, 2 negative, how many complex do I need? Zero. So the number of possible complex solutions is going to be 2 or 0. Okay? Again, Descartes' rule of science does not tell you which one it is, how, which, you know, which one is which. It just tells you what your possibilities are. Okay? 
que as 